this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes and today is Makers Monday where I repair or repurpose um, a piece of jewelry. Um, this is an adjustable bracelet um, and normally I wouldn't spend uh, time on this but on the back I noticed that it is marked um, 925 and I have tested it and it does test for sterling um, both these small beads and the uh, ends of uh, the edges of the cross itself so I think it's worthwhile replacing the four missing rhinestones um, now I only have a few sizes of rhinestones in my stash right now here I'm just gonna put that there I have uh, 18, uh, 16, and 19. So uh, I've taken out my uh, one page of my rhinestone conversion chart. Uh, this one happens to be from Fire Mountain Gems, and it shows all the the what's called the pearl plate size. This um, the stone size millimeter and inches and over here it has a little circle representing the diameter of the rhinestone so if I put these close together we can kind of guesstimate what's SS5 is it yes, it looks the, the dark spot that is the base of the rhinestone is much smaller looking than the actual rhinestone. So I think these are going to be between 16 and 18 that I'm going to need. So let's set this on the little holder. And if you wet your finger you can pick up the rhinestone by its top that silver and I'm just going to test fit I'm not sure I can do this in the camera we'll see how smart I am oh there we go it's going in the hole Let's see if I can get it to stay in the hole it doesn't want to stay so that uh, looks pretty good so that's a 16 the others are slightly larger. Let's see what an 18 looks like. So 19, 16, okay, so here's an 18. These are all, uh, nicely bag. Uh, these are from Jan's Jewelry Supplies. Just look up Jan's Jewelry Supplies online. These happen to be Claire Swarovski. And she sells, uh, she has good prices. So let's try a test fit of this one. I'm going to try it below. See if I can get it to stay. I'll get off my finger and go in the hole. Okay, so that one's not fitting in the hole anywhere near as nicely. I think it's too big. Yeah. So if you look, you can see it's sitting up too high. Whereas the one on the other side that we put in is sitting nice and low. So that 18 is too big. So I'm going to get rid of it. So now we know that 16 is the uh, size we need. I'm going to get some glue. Here's the good old uh, hypo cement. thing about hypo cement is that it's okay to let it set up a little bit so we can do all four holes I love this little tea thing for letting it set up it also gives me a chance to put the lid back on the hypo cement and wipe my fingers and then I just have to turn over these uh, stones the right way so that I can pick them up and that didn't work 
But there's one. Okay. One, two, three. Where's number four? Four. Okay. So here goes. Wet finger, top of the stone, in the hole, tap it down, and do this one up here. That one. And this other guy doesn't want to turn over for me. So let's see if I can get him. There we go. So they're all in there. You can see some of them are a little high. So I'm going to just press them down. I kind of like to do that with my fingernail so that I don't press them right out like that with the glue all over them. Something about the fingernail puts the right amount of pressure but makes them stay in. So, can we get it to focus now and show us that they're not uh, sitting up too high? That's pretty good. There's what it looks like. And I can just set this off to, to uh, dry. And in about half an hour, this will be repaired and ready to go. So, if you are interested in any of these rhinestone conversion charts, go to Fire Mountain Gems and look for rhinestone conversion charts. There's about three pages in total. Um, and I have mine uh, laminated because I use them a lot. And it helps preserve them. Hope you've uh, enjoyed this quick repair. And we'll see you soon. Thanks very much. Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.